Welcome into Wet Nose Wednesday, Sheree Taylor in my home studio, hanging out with Jessica, who is in Savannah. Jessica, hey. Monroe, we've, we've had her many times on here. She's from Saved by the Heart, and she's going to tell us about the ultimate race coming up this weekend and how it benefits animals in our area. Yes, ma'am. Super excited about this event. My uh, marketing company was actually brought on by Miley White, the race director, um, to help with some of the planning of the Ultimut Race and their amazing Finishers Festival. So Ultimut Race takes place this Saturday morning, October the 2nd. Um, competitive waves start at 8 a.m. And you can still get registered um, all the way up until midnight on October 1st. But she's really wanting you to register sooner for that so that she can prepare your race packet. Um and 18 obstacles. It's a 5K-ish um, race where you run, but there's also 18 obstacles that you and your dog accomplish together. You don't have to run with a dog if you um, don't want to or don't have a dog. You can still run the race. A portion of all of the ra runners' registrations go towards Greenville County Animal Care. And they also will have their wagon wagon out there. Um, and there is eight dogs running in the race that have been sponsored by Big Heart Sponsors, local businesses that sponsored them to run in the race and hopefully get them adopted. Which is wonderful. I've worked with Greenville County Animal Care with Wet Nose Wednesday, along with the other rescues that I've worked with. So I think it's wonderful that they're doing this. And I love that it's an obstacle course and the dogs get to run. Because normally they put the dogs out there on the courses for the different things with the video cameras and the uh, GoPros, just to kind of give them a, a, a kind of a look of what everything the dog sees. But the fact that they're running the races, that's so cool. How do they get them involved with it? You said there's eight? Yeah, there's eight. And so different businesses sponsor um, our big heart sponsors and they will be running with a um, shelter worker. So it's also a nice little uh, positive day for the shelter worker to be able to do that as well. Um, so that's fabulous. Then after the race, there is a finishers festival that includes food trucks like Roland Cuban, Vita Nova, um, lobster dogs. They've got the um, traveling taps that is out there with a beer garden. It's called Noble Nessie's beer, beer Garden because um, the Noble Dog Hotel is the showstopper sponsor. Um, we have a lot of vendors in the vendor village and that portion of the event is totally free to come to and anybody can attend. So even if you don't run the race, but you want to come out there and cheer on the competitors um, and just check out the event, it's totally pet friendly. So you can bring your pooch and you can just come out there and enjoy the festivities outside of actually running in the 5K. That's so wonderful. That's so I've done that so many times. And the, the cheering people on, it's incredible how fast these people come through. And you're like, wait a minute, I thought we just started cheering. And then they're like people like blazing fast. I do my 5K at a like half walk, half run, half jog. Yeah. So, that's a lot of halves, but I was never good in math. But Well, and there's 18 obstacles so that you have to conquer during the 5K. So sometimes you're, you're like, you have to slow down. One's a 40-pound um, a sandbag that you got to carry for a certain period of time. And I ain't running with 40 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run toward the beer truck. Yes. <laughs> I love that. So 40 pounds while you're running? Yes. Like that's just one of the obstacles. There's 18 different obstacles. Hay hurdles. Um, there's a little, the crawl in the mud thing that you got to do. And they've been doing um, little training sessions with their uh, um, Noble Dog Hotel out there where you can um, practice training. And then Astro Kennels is another sponsor and they've had the ability to rent their like obstacle equipment so that you could do that while they were open. And um, Miley has a great like training tools on the website, ultimutrace.com. So um, there's all kinds of fun things and you can still get registered. There's a fun run. You don't have to like compete and be super serious. You can just come out there and um, definitely just do the fun run. And there's photographers all throughout the course. So it allows you to get some really fun pictures pictures with you and your pet and just have a really memorable experience with your best friend. 
That's wonderful. And it goes to Greenville County Animal Care, which is a supports, which is a great organization because they've done so much and they've actually become a no kill shelter over the years. And that's just a it's 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 wonderful to see our community has supported them as well as supported them, especially during COVID, because um, as you and I know, a lot of people don't know this or didn't realize this until they go to a shelter to um, adopt a pet or to do a meet and greet. That's now a little bit different than it was before. We could just go in because a lot of them are being um, being fostered at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned fostering. Let's talk about you and the love of fostering and the love of animals you've had for years and years and years and years. Yeah, well, and that's uh, really how I met Miley with Ultimate Race is in 2019, our Save by the Heart pet idol event um, that we were holding in downtown Greer. Miley came out there as a vendor at that event for their first Ultimate Race and had their um, Game of Bones thrown uh, that they had out there for picture taking with the pets. So that's how I first met her. And I, um, she reached out to me about emceeing the Mult Ultimate race. And that's how we got together for this 2021 um, race this year. So yeah, I've been involved in animal rescue work for about 20 years, started my organization Saved by the Heart in 2011. Saved by the Heart is not involved in Ultimate Race this year. We hope to be in the future, but I will be there emceeing the event before I have to run over to another event. Um, but I definitely wanted to get involved with the Ultimate Race because it's just, um, she is so, Miley White, the race director, is so very dedicated dedicated to this organization and she's got a lot of goals and plans for it and wanting to grow it and supporting local or organizations. Um, they have another organization, uh, for, uh, uh, assistant blind assistant dogs and there will be a human and their, um, assistant pup that are running the race. And um, so there's a couple of other charity organizations that are involved as well um, for their Frisbee toss. Uh, the uh, Noble Dog Hotel has their charity organization that is, um, they work to train dogs that are like shelter dogs, injured dogs, things like that to um, be therapy dogs in the community. So um, they're going to be out there as well. So there's different charities that are involved and then also supporting Greenville County Animal Care. So I am um, very thankful to be involved in the event. And again, this Saturday, 8 a.m. And it shall run till about um, noon, but the runners will be done around 10. So this is one you'll want to come out there early, take advantage of all of the food and festivities early in the morning. And then you have the rest of your day to do whatever you like to do. And then get ready to get signed up for Ultima next year for 2022. Yeah. Because, That's yeah, nice. as you said, the app has... Um, online it has all these skills and training you see what other people can do and you're thinking i'm going to give myself a goal to do that because i'm going to help the animals in our area and i'm going to help myself and i can say that i went through this with 40 pounds through an obstacle and then crawling <laughs> through mud <laughs> yeah Let's talk well, about in the your Wolfgang, Wolfgang bakery is having a Wolfgang wash off station so after you get muddy then you can wash yourself and your dog off in their little wash off station at the finishers festival. I love that. Let's <laughs> say that three times face. Yeah, the I know. No. Gang wash off and the finisher. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber baby yeah. buggy bumpers. That's. <laughs> oh, Hey, you did that. <laughs> I can do that. Cause I'm a theater person and a radio for that. And red leather, red leather, red, red leather, red, leather, <laughs> yellow leather. Red... <laughs> that I can't do. I used to be able to do it like without thinking. And let's talk about your challenge today. You're like, okay, I'm setting up for this interview. I'm going to give you a call. We had some scheduling issue. And so you're like, okay, I'm calling you. And then turn your phone and show everybody where you are. I'm at Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah. I'm headed out to Tybee Island. I've never been to Savannah before. And I have a friend of mine that's staying down here for a couple of months. And she invited me to come down. So I'm just down for two nights. Never been to Savannah. Shame wow. on me because I've lived in Greenville all my life. And um, so, yeah, I've, I just took a stroll downtown. Now I'm checking out this, like, amazing Beautiful. ancient cemetery. And then I'm headed out to Tabby Island to see the beach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? 
you and I need to connect because, you know, I do all the magic road trips and the travel blogs and all this other stuff. You recently got back from Alaska. Next time you go to Alaska, I'm going with you, friend. All right. All right. It's so amazing. Like, You'll <laughs> <you're> never <laughs> want to come back. <laughs> I know. I know. I have a friend's son who actually is stationed there and he never wants to come back. He's a South Carolina boy and he goes, I'm good. I'm good here. So it's amazing. It really is. Oh, yeah. I was so jealous when I saw those pictures. I'm like, I should be there. So <laughs> we'll do a special edition of Wet Nose Wednesday from Alaska. Woo. Yes. Could be. You never know. Because, okay, hey, you know what? Because thanks to technology and the way things are now, a lot of people are adopting from all over the country. My cousin in Philly a while back um, sent me a text and said, hey, we're picking up a dog from Day Before the Rainbow in your area. So she... Yeah. She almost said rented a dog. <laughs> <laughs> she rescued a dog from our area. So that that's just kind of cool. It's like she's up in Philly and like came across this dog online. It was just one of those things. And and people Absolutely. are doing that from all over. So why not Alaska? I will go personally and transport animals back from Alaska. That sounds great. <laughs> I need to clarify that dogs, not all animals. I'm not, not like a polar bear or a wolf or anything like that. Well, you never know. All right, Jessica, thank you so much. Okay, web address for them to get in touch with Ultimate as well as this weekend's events and um, anything else. So to register online for the Ultimate race, it is ultimaterace.com. And you can also find that on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll have all those links for you up on the website. Thank you so much, Jessica. Enjoy Savannah. And especially Tybee Island, because I'm a beach girl. I, I'm, I'm so jealous right now. I love the water. <laughs> See you too. soon. It's healing. It's healing. It is. All right. Well, thank you so much. And we look forward to Ultimate this weekend. Thanks.